Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to the Rocket City Network. I am your host, the mouthpiece of the Southeast, the one and only Mike Sean. I have my co-host with me, Mr. Courtney. Um, so recently, I have been accused of bojangling and buck dancing for Joe Biden and the Democrats, <laughs> right? Um, a guy who will remain who will remain nameless, but we'll call him Fred. All right. He told me just two weeks ago that he was done with the Republicans. Mm. He added up to here. He was tired of their lying, their cheating. He was just tired, right? Shortly thereafter, he went on a full rant. Mm. And he said that I was bojangling and bug dancing, right? Um, and all I did was just challenge him and asked him, hey, why did it take you this long to call out people? I wouldn't I'm mm -hmm. say a party. I'm going to say people who have been bojangling and buck dancing since they got in the office. Right. So, Ooh. Courtney, let me ask you this, man, and, 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 and be totally honest. Right. Have I been bojangling and buck dancing for Joe Biden? <laughs> no. Listen, man. I can't take any black conservatives seriously who want to hurl the accusation or accuse another black person of a, of the Democratic Party of bojangling bug dancing. Now, while there may be some black people in the Democratic Party who, no matter what Joe Biden does, they will not criticize. Yeah, that's not the case here. Uh, we criticize Democrats as often as we criticize Republicans. But but my question I want to pose to the black conservatives is that why are you still a part of the Republican Party? Like, what have they done in the last 10 years, 15 years, for you to continuously throw your support behind them? And when you say buck dangling and buck uh, uh, buck, buck dancing, uh, bo bo jangling buck dancing, and buck dancing, bo jangling, buck dancing. Um, <laughs> do you mean like diamond and silk? Do you mean like Herman Cain? Do you mean like oh, the and 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 speaking of that, right? Diamond and Silk, um, one of them just passed last week. Correct. I didn't hear any kind of condolences from Trump. He he said he he said something on Truth Social. Um, he didn't. He said something on Truth Social regarding her. But what he said was like her. Uh, our precious Silk died. Um, her her big beautiful heart gave out like what like bro listen not only that when, her, when, her, when herman Cain, when he died of covid he was listen. silent yeah silent on that you know I, go I, ahead I, sir i yeah I, I didn't mean to interrupt you no no you're fine i just need black conservatives to give me three three reasons i just need three why do you why do you go so hard for the Republican Party, because y'all love to say that black people are on the Democratic plantation, but you are on the Republican plantation. And and if I'm gonna be and if I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot of tap dancing going on on the Republican side from people who look like you and I, who who the party that they subscribe to um, dabbles in voter suppression, right? Clearly. Yeah. clearly cheating to win any and every office, clearly putting up people like George Santos and Marjorie Taylor Greene and, and Matt Gates and, and all these extremists in your party who wouldn't spit on you if you were on fire, but you got the nerve to say somebody is tap dancing for the Democratic Party. Just give me three reasons as to why you're so gung-ho for the Republican Party. And since I'm fair and balanced like Fox News, we can sit here and give you an abundant of reasons why a person should vote for a Democrat, right? So, right. Um, and and I and I and I asked this individual, I said, "Hey, what disease stalks Black America?" Mm. Of course, he thought that I was baiting him, which I was. He didn't answer the question, and I told him diabetes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What just happened? with the price of insulin. It got capped at $35, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for some odd reason, people feel that if there's not a 
a piece of legislation that says, hey, black diabetes bill that a certain party is not catering to them. Right. Yeah. Um, again, this this person, he, he's at, he's actually told me that that he, he didn't he hasn't voted in elections. Right. Yeah. And yet he will come. He will troll. Like I said, I, I, the, the guy, he, he's like a brother, you know, so he's he's like a uh, um, a brother that that can be a pest sometimes. And and sometimes he he, he feels he's playing devil's advocate. But I'm right. like, why are you why are you being devilish on the Lord's Day? <laughs> um, uh, so so he'll so he'll he'll bring up these situations and we've gone back and forth. He will talk about inflation. I will explain to him that hey, inflation is a global issue. And, yeah. and in fact, <laughs> America's actually doing better than the mo- majority of the world is, right? Correct. When gas goes up 10 cents, he will talk about the, the increase in gas products. Yeah. Right. Which, I mean, if you want the American government to, to nationalize gas, isn't that a form of socialism? Right. Of so, course. so he has a problem with me being an intellectual juggernaut when it comes to politics. And he's always trying to, to get me in a gotcha moment, but it, but it hasn't happened. And I yeah. told him, I'm like, dude, I will no longer go back and forth with you on text, right? You have yeah. to come on the panel. So Fred, yeah. I challenge you to come on the panel, right? Just like Achilles said in the great movie, Troy, why kill you now, <laughs> Prince of Troy? When there's nobody here to see you fall, so yeah. Fred, why am I gonna why am I gonna kill you through text when there's nobody to see you fall? Other than uh, one of our uh, great subscribers, uh, shout out to Aunt Fresh. Uh, but yeah, so I just want to be clear that I that I wasn't bojangling and buck dancing because you know since we've been back, I haven't even done a video on Joe Biden. Yeah, right, and I've only done one video on one George Santos, right? So I don't know where all this vitriol is coming from. Um, but like I said, I want him to come on the panel uh, and explain himself. Like you have to be able to defend your positions. Don't just troll right. me at three o'clock in the morning and yeah. then say, oh, I thought you weren't up. Oh, I wasn't expecting for you to to, to text back. Oh, I wanted to, to greet you with a nice text. Uh, you know, talking about classified documents. And then again, with the classified documents, right? Come on. We 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 know that it is wrong, right? On both sides yeah. for, for Biden to do it and also for Trump to do it. Right. But for the mere fact that you're not taking into consideration that Joe Biden actually did a self audit. Yeah. And this is how these classif- classified documents have came out to the open. The Biden folks could have easily suppressed this information. Could have yeah. easily suppressed it, but what right. they do? they did the right thing. They didn't need the FBI to come and barge in to his private residence to no. retrieve documents that they've been asking for for over a year. Right? Hmm. Granted, the the um, uh, the Bi- some of, some of the classified documents that they found from Biden they they're back they go back as far as him being a senator. Now yeah. nobody is excusing him of that, right? Not at all. But if you're saying lock him up, well, hell, what, what do you say about Trump? <laughs> so they should, see, they should both be locked up, right? That's and see, that's the problem that I have with conservatives. It's it's is the 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 all of a sudden they got amnesia, right? Selective outrage. Selective, Selective outrage. Yeah, y'all are so funny. Trump literally. Did everything under as president under the sun that was corrupt, and y'all had no issue with it. Biden got a couple documents. Republicans, we're going to investigate. Wait, 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 wait. Trump had classi- classified documents that the FBI had been asking for, like you said, for over a year until they got a warrant to go to his house. And all of a sudden now, because the FBI is doing their job, we got to ban the FBI. So. The FBI is doing their job with Biden. I've yet to see anybody from the Democratic con- uh, Congress or caucus that are saying the FBI should be banned. That is the difference, right, Mr. That's Fred? it. That is the difference, right? Fundamental. No, no, yeah. no, and 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 nobody is excusing Biden because right. he's going to come under a lot of pressure, right? Right. 
because you because you because you have to justify and rationalize why these documents were in your possession for so long. Correct. Right. That's why we have things called an investigation. Right. right? And that's what the DOJ is doing. Right. Yeah. But when you have somebody like Fred, who believes that somebody is coddling uh, a whole mainstream media is is trying to protect Joe Biden. When you're the one who is sending me CNN links that are giving us information on what was going on. So that the feature <laughs> that that pretty much deconstructs your whole argument of of CNN or MSNBC trying to coddle for Joe Biden. That that pretty much it deconstructs that whole argument because you right there sir, you're sending me CNN links. That lets us know that they are being fair and balanced. Now, when Trump was being investigated uh, this past summer, um, you didn't send me any links for that from Fox News because no. you know why? <laughs> they were barely reporting on it, sir. Because they're trash. And and the thing, and it, isn't it amazing? The smallest mishap that happens on the liberal, the, the, the Democratic side, like you said, Republicans are up in arms, outraged. They gotta go. We we we're gonna discuss, and we gotta do because yeah. the American people need to know the truth. <laughs> and they only need to know the truth when it comes to Democrats. It yeah. never. They never need to know the truth when it comes to you. No, like, not not at all. You got George Santos. He why why is he still in Congress? Why? Because he's a yes man. <laughs> Yeah, they want that vote. They know That's that the vote, they they know that that red wave did not happen, mm -hmm. and they have a slim margin, right? So they don't care if a guy more than embellished his resume, right? He lied about his schools. Yep. He lied about his heritage. Yep. He lied about where he worked at. We don't even know where he got his million dollars from. Well, he he lied about his mother dying in 9-11? Yes. You have a guy like that, and he still is walking through your chambers, bojangling and buck dancing. And then you guys want to talk about moral decay, right? Hmm. Moral standards, Christian values. And mind you, this guy's a devout Christian. Fred is a devout Christian. Never want to talk about that. He so it it is it is hypocritical, sir. And I understand if you're if you're playing devil's advocate or whatever. But but why would you play like that? Is it because you know that everything that I say is is based on fact and has an ironclad position that that's going to be defended and can be challenged? I think that's why it is. So Fred, this is my challenge to you. Come on the Rocket City Network, air out all your grievances, right? And let the American people, <laughs> let the American people back you and see you defend your positions. Courtney, anything on uh, McCarthy? Because we, because he, he's been, uh, he's been out there. He, he's been walking on eggshells, man. You know, you know, he, uh, he, he, I mean, he pretty much, he ain't got no power because he does the minute he pisses off anybody in his caucus, it's over. It's over. It's over. McCar Listen, I've never seen anyone wanting to have a position so bad that he's willing to give up his soul to get it. And that's what he did. You have a title, but you have no power. You're an idiot. Like you have a title, but you have no power. And like you said, the soon as soon as you step on somebody's toes, they're gonna throw the whole they throw a wrench in the whole plan. And because of your ego, your ignorance, your narcissism, because you wanted to be this person, you're putting the whole country in danger because you wanted power. And again, it's sad to see how in our government that we've allowed these extreme people in making decisions for everyday people you and i and fred needs to understand and so and a couple of others need to understand that um you're defending somebody that's gonna that has the that has the the, the power not mccarthy but 
you're putting your position, your your life in the in the hands of of people who you defend who don't care about you. They yeah. don't care about. They love to get on there and say, "We know what's best for the American people." Mm-hmm. No, you don't, because you don't even know what's best for you. So how you gonna know what's best for me? And and and, and the Republicans have. I, when we were texting this morning, they've allowed extremism into their party, and uh, not uh, unfortunately, fortunately, this will be their downfall because they're they are they are putting people in positions of power like Santos and Green and Gates who have no moral compass. And you know when you don't have no moral compass, you give somebody a position of power with no moral compass, they're going to will that power and they don't care who they knock down. Look at Trump. For the last four years, he was the most powerful person in the world. And what, what did he do with that power? Enrich his friends, raise the debt, put us more trillions of dollars in debt, Build, I'm going to build a wall and Mexico will pay for it. Let's call Mexico's president and ask, did they build that wall yet? That's, I'm, I'm still waiting for the wall to be built. But Trump is still had classified documents, still going around the country, not lately, but during the summer, still holding rallies. And look, and look at the, and you know what's so sad? Look at where he's holding these rallies in these poor rural areas where people have no dental care, no health care, no life insurance, no job, factory jobs still, I'm not knocking that, refuse to get an education. Jobs literally said, we will pay you to go back to school to learn a skill. These idiots say, I don't want government in my business. Well, guess what? Government is involved in every phase of your life. If it wasn't, you wouldn't have no road. You wouldn't have no doctor, no clinic, no none of that. So the Republican Party, the only thing that they've done for the last 30, 40 years is that they've tricked their base into voting for policies to enrich themselves and leave y'all stuck. But the Democratic Party is a plantation. Okay, y'all can have that. Well, there you have it, folks. The Rocket City Network. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Come on the panel. Hit me up. There you go. We out. Yeah. Yep.